Bam, bam, bam. Hoo-hoo, how's it going, everyone? It's me, Logan, and we got free cameras because I'm dumb. Twice just had the comeback with this song, I Can't See Me. Stop me. I can't stop me. Uh, let's just put more effort into a video, eh? But anyways, before we get into this, I want to say something. Okay. This video is dedicated to Jung Yoon, uh, from Twice. I'm sorry if I'm getting her name wrong. I'm not the best at pronouncing Korean names. But if you don't know what is happening with her, I'll quickly explain. She has psychological anxiety, or just anxiety, whatever you want to call it, and it's not a nice thing, so she won't be participating in the, pro in the promotional activities for this comeback, which sucks, but it's best for her health. And the reason why this video is dedicated to- Ah, oh, Raina! <laughs> God damn! Did that camera get it? Did that- She just- She just did that. Did you see that? Did you- Hmm? She, she just jumped and clawed my leg. I got a kitten, by the way. So that's why we're gonna shower her with positivity! Woohoo! And we'll try and make her feel better, okay? Because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to make people happy, and if I can somehow make her happy through this video, then... Mint. I don't know why I said that, but mint. But anyways... Back to the video, even though that was part of the video. I'm very smart, I promise. So this is a brand new series that I'm going to be doing on the channel. I'm still going to have my reaction to the original video throughout this. But this is a new series. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> so in this video, I'll be talking about the song, lyrics, choreography, camera work, and editing. So yeah, I'll be talking about all of those segments, and it'll be roughly around one minute to two minutes for each segment that I'll be talking about, talking about what I like, don't like, and all that stuff, and it's gonna be, it's just gonna be fun. It's just gonna be fun. You hear that? It's gonna be fun. <laughs> And there will be timestamps in the description and also on the timeline for this video so you can just like listen to each part of what I talk about in this video. But there will also be snippets of my first time reaction to Twice's music video throughout this video as well. So if you want to see my full reaction, please comment down below because I really want to try and make YouTube a full time thing by next year. And I really like this video because it means I won't get a copyright claim or you know I can actually make money off of it and still do what I want but if you guys want reactions let me know and I can make it like a membership thing or patreon so you can just see that my full like first time reaction to it because I, I really want to do this type of video where I actually put time and effort into it you hear that time and effort into a reaction yeah? That's what I want to do. I really want to do that, okay? I want to make it so that my videos are special, and if you guys just want boring, plain old reactions, then I will be happy to do it on Patreon and, and all that, because I'd rather spend a lot more time doing videos like this, where I feel creative. So anyways, let's get into this. Song. This song has a retro disco... You good? You good, Rainer? This song has a retro disco vibe, which I goddamn love. Like, it is so goddamn good. When the song started, I knew instantly that I was in for a treat. Like, that beat was so goddamn catchy. It was just, like, on point. It was just my jam. And then we get the vocals. And the vocals from everyone is so goddamn... Oh my god, the vocals. Mean. Damn amazing, and I just absolutely love it. And also that auto tune that they use, it's like not too much, but you can like, you can like hear it, and it gives it a cool sounding effect. And I really like that. It gives like the song more of a retro vibe, which I freaking love. And it does not mess with their vocals whatsoever. Like you can still hear how amazing they are when they're singing. It's just it gives it that little retro vibe, which I freaking love. And then near the end, when we're getting the high notes from everyone, I'm just like, bruh. What the fuck? Like, were you able to handle those high notes? Because I wasn't. Not at all. Nah. None of it. But yeah, Twice has got such an amazing vocal range. It's actually phenomenal how amazing their vocal range is. That, that's basically what I'm going to say about the song. Like, it's a nice, catchy song. The vocals are amazing. The rapping was awesome. And it's just going to go onto my plate straight away and be on repeat. I'm. <laughs> that's all I can say, okay? You got a problem with that? Lyrics. The lyrics are by JYP himself, and oh my god, he did actually such a great job with the lyrics. Like, holy crap. So the lyrics of the song are about expressing the feelings of finding it hard to control yourself whilst being in conflict over right versus wrong. And this line from Sana, sooner or later, I'll step over the line. This is one of those lyrics that just indicate that conflict, that what the song is all about. Like, 
sooner or later I'll step over that line. Because right now, they're in the right, and then once I step over that line, they'll be in the wrong. And I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure they would never be in the wrong, because it's twice, you know? Now this is the lyric which got me being like, wow, JYP has done a great job with these lyrics, and it's with Jiho. I'm surrounded by that spot, spot, spotlight. As it shines on me, I'm swept into the darkness. And ooh, that is deep. That is so goddamn deep. That's what she said. You can be deeper than my voice, to be honest. No, uh, um, it got me thinking so hard about that meaning of that lyric right there. And it's just like, oh, so much. It resonates with me so much. Well, not with me, with other people. Uh, kind of with me. Yeah, kind of with me. I got a small spot. Oh, wow, she looks amazing. You know, like a tiny wee one where about like, Hardly anyone cares about me, but if I do one wrong thing, they could cancel me, so, I mean... Yeah. Okay, I gotta read this straight, as from what I typed down. Because I think I actually interpreted this in a good way. I know, I got a brain. What the fuck? As soon as people have that attention on them, they always have to try their best to always be as bright as that spotlight that's getting constantly shined on them. Which puts a massive pressure on that person, and it makes them anxious. And that affected twice. It happened with Mina, and now it's happening with Jonyeon. And, you know, that spotlight of always having to be just as bright as that because everyone's keeping an eye on you. You're, you've got to always be perfect. Stop! Do you know what time it is? It's Jonghyun appreciation time, baby. Mm. Oh, just look at her smile. Oh. Hey, Jonghyun, has anyone ever said that you look beautiful? Oh, because goddamn, you look beautiful today and every other day. It gets to you. It's, you you're going to crack at some point. But then, we could bring this lyric back to what Sana's lyric before was. Which was, sooner or later, I'll step over the line. And this got me thinking more and more of, you know, they're under constant pressure from the media. You know, everyone around the world, they got, uh, like, so many eyes on them. That spotlight is just constantly, constantly on top of them. And, oh, like, it got me thinking that JYP, he wrote these lyrics for twice to sing, but these lyrics aren't just for twice. They're for so many people out there. These lyrics are for like, future idols, idols now, actors, you know, for so many people. And I think JYP has actually done a great job of these lyrics showing, or just saying that, you know, you'll get that spotlight uh, on you and it can hurt you. Because as it shines on me, I'm swept into the darkness. It's just, no one sees that darkness you know, that they're getting swept into. And I, oh, that is a good lyric, man. I freaking, I, JYP's done a great job. I mean, JYP. But yeah, thank you JYP um, for helping out plenty of people uh, with your lyrics for this song. Choreography. Now, I may not be the best dancer, <laughs> but I can see good choreography when I see it, okay? I mean, I can, okay? You know, I can. I can actually see good choreography when I see it. Oh! Oh! What? and twice served us with a five-star meal for this choreography. That flow of the choreography was, oh my god, it was so beautiful. I got hooked straight on from the start. Like, it was so good, okay? It was so good, okay? <laughs> like, when they were all together and they came out of that flower and they, their choreography was like a flower, you know? It was waving in the wind, it was blooming, it was just everything, like that start of the choreography just got me hooked instantly. It was actually really freaking good. Now, of course, I can't see all of the dancing that they did in the music video because the music video is not all about the dancing. The dancing's part of it, but it's not the main priority. But from what I was able to see altogether, the choreography is fantastic, fascinating, and spectacular. Now then, there's this one choreography part of Jiho, and all I can say is, <laughs> all I can say is, King Daniel, you're so goddamn lucky. <laughs> don't hate me. Please don't hate me for saying that. <laughs> but yeah, that is basically what I can say about the choreography. I don't know much about it, but it just caught my attention. Okay, it was, it was nice. I can barely dab for crying out loud. Like, I'm not good at dancing. So anyways, camera work. Oh, the camera work in this music video is just so superb. I freaking love it. It is... Ooh, so clean, so smooth, and just like everything is the right shot in my eyes. Like, I could not see a shot that I did not like. It was all so good. Like, from the long shots, close ups, extreme close up, the close. Stop! Do you know what time it is? It's Jonghyun appreciation time, baby. Look at her go. Ooh, 
Wow, now that's amazing. Long shots, close ups, extreme close up, the close ups, <laughs> the cowboy shot, the wide angle, which is basically a long shot. Uh, God damn it. Also, the establishing shots were so beautiful as well in this music video. Like, oh my God. Then we go to the camera movement. Oh my God. That was the smoothest shit ever. Like, I, I know they definitely had like a crane and all that stuff, but it was so smooth. It was so beautiful. I freaking love, love it so much. Like the camera pans, the zooming, just like, oh my god, everything was so beautiful. It was so good. I'm gonna sum it up real quick and say that I saw only perfections uh, with the camera shots, the decisions, techniques, everything was just immaculate in my eyes. I loved it a lot. It just all blew me away, like my mind. Even the tracking is done so amazing, like, even though there could have been some editing with some of the tracking shots because, like, they were just so clean, it was still fantastic and I loved it a lot, right? What? What the f <laughs> I'm just loving this music video so goddamn much. Editing. Oh my god. The editing in this is amazing. So goddamn amazing. Like, you have no idea how much I freaking loved it. Like, yet again, there was perfect edits. Like, I I saw nothing, actually I saw like one or two things that were bad, but basically 99% of the music video I freaking loved. Thanks, Raina. So yeah, usually in a music video, I notice a rough cut. And when I say that, I mean a cut that doesn't really line up with the shot that's coming next. Like it just, it looks a bit off. And in this music video, all the cuts that I saw were so lined up perfectly. Like the alignment for the cuts from like the shots were amazing. And I was just like, wow. Like just like, just that, the, the cuts from different shots that were clean, I was like, wow, this is a great music video. There's just so much I want to talk about for editing because I love it. I freaking love it. I just sped over everything. But yeah, um, the CGI, Junyun's helmet. Uh, yes, but no, but yes, but no. I respect that they decided to uh, mask it over her and like render in. Like, it, it, was a, it was a nice render. I actually quite liked that render. It would have taken them quite a lot of time to actually render uh, or make because like, you know, you got to get it like perfect like this. Actually, no, uh, you just gotta. I started thinking to myself for like five minutes and I'm like, oh my god. Can't be bothered explaining it. But the thing that I loved about it was it was so anime. <laughs> I freaking love anime and like they made that helmet, like, you know, coming onto her head so anime because of the goddamn speed lines in the background, you know, just like boop, 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 boop. in the background. I'm like, goddamn, this is so anime. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yes, I love it. I'm all about it. Uh, but the only thing with the helmet that I actually didn't really like was after it was fully shown, I wasn't a big fan of the texture. It didn't look like it's matched with like the lighting uh, of the actual shot. Uh, so that that's like the only thing I didn't really like about that. But it was still, it was still well done. I, I still freaking like that helmet. And then just all the bike shots. Like, you could tell they're easily green screened and all that jibber jabber. But I just freaking loved them because they were fun. They were anime. <laughs> Stop! Do you know what time it is? It's Jungyun appreciation time, baby. Jungyun best girl. God damn, look at her go. Oh my god. <sighs> <sighs> Comment down below your favorite anime. But it was just so anime and I loved it. And this is the other shot that I wasn't, it's like, only, these are the only two things I'm not a big fan of in the entire music video. And it's when Jong Yeon's bike crashes through and then it lands on the table. The physics of everything, I'm not a big fan of because they don't spread out. They just go up and I'm like, uh -huh. Oh my God, that's cool editing. I like that. Okay, that's really cool. And those are like the only two things for the editing that I'm not a big fan of. Everything else I freaking love so much. Oh my god. Now the last edit shots that I'm going to talk about is the train chewing away from the dust cloud. Um, now it's obviously a fully rendered scene, of course. And I quite liked it, you know. It was quite nice. It looked pretty good. I was trying to think for so long of the symbolism of getting chased by the dust cloud or was that just like something? Because like, I had two reasons in my reaction, which I'll actually play right now because I mean, I, 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 I still can't think of what the indications were. I'm also loving the symbolism of the train as well. They're on a train that's going too fast and it's not being able to stop. 
and it's just causing, ha causing havoc. I really like that. Or maybe that wasn't the, the train. Uh, so, oh, okay. So, okay. What I said was wrong. What I said was wrong. Okay. So what that was, was it's the other selves chasing after them and they're on the train trying to escape. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Actually, now I'm lost and confused. Someone help me. But yeah, if you guys know the actual indications of the train and the dust cloud, please comment that down below because I have no idea. I am so lost. I am so confused. Uh, so please let me know. Please. <laughs> But yeah, all together, I really enjoyed this whole whole experience. The song is hella catchy, which is actually the most important part because I mean I'm gonna be listening to that in my car uh, when I'm playing games. It has to be a nice hella catchy song, and that's what they did. They released a hella catchy song. Uh, the lyrics behind it are amazing. Of course, I'm not gonna understand it fully whenever I listen to it because I don't speak Korean. Uh, I'm studying that. <laughs> The vocals in the song, beautiful. The rapping, amazing. The music video, also beautiful. Edited well, camera shots done well. Just, it was directed well, basically. All I'm gonna say is that Twice slayed this comeback, okay? They freaking slayed it. And I'm all here for it, baby. All here for it. But yeah, um, that's gonna be all for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, um, please let me know what you think about this. I know it's a different type of video, but you know, let me know um, if you liked it, didn't like it, because um, I do want to do it more often i actually want to produce good quality content on this channel not just reactions where it's like yay welcome to the video and then i just react to it and then it's hey thanks for watching i want to actually do more stuff where it's more fun i get to put more effort into it feel proud basically i just want to feel proud with the content that i put out and reactions I'm just not proud about it, okay? But if you do want to see my reaction, I do have it fully recorded. I will make it a membership only, and all you got to do is just join uh, down below because I do want to try and make YouTube full time. So hopefully you understand. Hopefully you understand. But yeah, this is twice I can't stop me. And can you stop me from ending this video? No, but I can. Have a great one. Peace.